Okay, so now that we're ready to go back into Maya here and basically bring all of our mapped <coughs> objects in or mapped assets in, and we've added everything that we, you know, we're going to map to a layer. So I'm just going to simply turn all those objects off that we've added to that layer. Okay, now I'm just going to basically start bringing them back in. I just have to reset our project file there just to be on the on the save side and remember when we exported them out it was basically in the data folder okay so we'll bring in our back seat bottom and you can see that it's going to bring it in there and now I'm going to go over here to the UV texture editor which you can see the window here and I'm also going to bring up our hypershade window which takes a little bit to load there okay I'm going to use a blend here let me minimize the UV texture window there. I'm going to apply this blend to the object. And this is important because I want to make sure that I double check the, the UV texture layout. Okay, so I'm just going to simply add a file texture to it. And then I'm going to add the UV to it, which is the JD UV check. Um, I'm not going to include that. I mean, it's just a simple file that was made in Photoshop. Okay, so we'll go ahead and make sure we apply that and hit 6 on our keyboard. And that's going to allow us to, to go ahead and check the UV layout here. And I'm going to scale this up a little bit here. I'll turn the, um, the filter off there. And I'm just going to repeat the UV, um, say, four times. So I don't really actually have to scale the UVs. I can simply just check it here. And you can see where it's a little bit... Um, like spherical mapped and that's okay I'm just gonna you know rebring up the texture window here and just grab it and I'll just turn the display image off here and I need to make sure that I find out and know exactly which parts what here in terms of the front and the back and okay so the easiest way to go ahead and do that is just basically select a bunch of different UVs and then look at your model and you can see that if I hit 4 on the keyboard that's the back Okay, so we need to go ahead and just basically select the shell here. And I'm going to just simply rotate it like 90 degrees. Okay, and I'm going to scale it up a little bit. I'm going to rotate it just a little bit more. And then I'm going to use the smooth UV tool. And this is basically going to allow me to unfold them a little bit more. And if I go back inside the car here... You can sort of see where it adjusts it a little bit. I'm just going to go ahead and scale it down because I want to try to, you know, get. I'm basically going to try to get them all into the UV space of one to zero. Um, maybe not not all on the same UV map since this is a car and it's basically not going into a game engine or anything. We can sort of just basically make sure it's going to fit inside the zero to one space and map them all differently or you know pretty much use a different map on all of them and that way it's <clears throat> gonna give us a, a better uh, chance to add a you know higher res texture to it so I'm basically gonna continue to import here so we'll go ahead and import our back seat top apply the same blend texture or blend shader that we had to our other one here. I'll just go ahead and minimize the window here. Make sure that we select this one and select this one. The top and the bottom here. I'll just go ahead and move this out of the way. Select this one. You need to make sure that we rotate this correctly here. Since this part is here our, you know, our back part or the main back part of the seat. I'm going to go ahead and put that one on top and just make sure that I select the, the right UVs in terms of how I'm going to set it up here and those, yeah, those are the bottom, so that's okay. I'll go ahead and move this off and make sure that I select all of these here. Okay. Go ahead and place them. Well, I'm going to go ahead and move these over here just so I can get a 
closer adaptation there. Just giving myself a little bit of room so that, you know, I mean, if I have to edit it in Photoshop later, that's okay. I'll, you know, we'll give myself enough room to, to go ahead and do that. And since this is basically going to be the first seat here, go ahead and scale it down so that they're pretty much all going to fit with inside the, the UV space here. Scale it down just a little bit more. And you want to be careful because you want to be able to give yourself enough room that it's not going to be necessarily that hard to texture. I mean, if, if you run into a problem where you've you know basically overlapped a little bit or you don't have enough padding inside of here it's gonna be hard to texture so it's, it's better to give yourself at least enough room in terms of your UV layout to make it easier on yourself to go ahead and texture okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and move the the UV window off screen here onto my second monitor and you can see where our our placement here of our UV shader is looking pretty good right now. Okay, so I'll go ahead and continue to import our pieces here, which will be our front seat back, and simply just apply the same shader to it. Okay, and then we'll do the front seat bottom as well, and apply the same shader to it. And I'll just minimize the hypershade window there. I'll bring back over the UV texture window. And we just want to, you know, basically match these seat pieces to these seat pieces. Or we just basically want to match the UV setup on these to the back here. Okay, so we got to remember what do we do here. We had this rotated. Go ahead and just rotate this. Go ahead and move this over a little bit. I probably should rotate that just a little bit more. Go ahead and rotate this. Move this down. Select the bottom there. Go ahead and move this up. And then I'll reselect the back ones here. And these are the front ones, so I'm basically going to scale these down to simply match the other ones. Trying to get it as close as I possibly can so that there's really no sort of texture difference. You can see where I actually rotated that the wrong way there honest mistake I, uh, I'm gonna have to scale it down just a little bit more that should be good enough for matching and a big thing is organization of your UV maps okay and it as you can see there, I mean, my UV map for the for the seats is actually laid out in a way that it's, you know, it's really nice. And it, that's actually, say, like, if I wanted to add stitching or anything, it's not going to be that difficult to go ahead and do that, do that since our UV maps are, you know, fairly well organized. I mean, there's no overlapping and, and no sort of, like, ugly or ugly god faces, you know what I mean? It's, there's really... A decent layout and it's going to be easier to to go ahead and texture here so we'll go ahead and move my uh, UV texture window off again so I can go ahead and re-import uh, the rest of our pieces here and I'm trying to match this in case um, to be somewhat all on the same map so now we're going to go ahead and basically bring in our uh, our seat belt pieces and since they're all pretty much going to be on the same map, I'm just going to go and import, go ahead and import all four at the same time. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit G on my keyboard to basically reuse the same tool. And then you can see that it brings in seat belt two. We'll go ahead and do three here. As you can see, it's there in the back. And then we'll go ahead and do four there. And I'll bring back over my UV texture window, making sure that I'm going to select all of these. And they're all 
fairly the same fairly the same UV layout and they're all you know pretty much within the same space so I'm just gonna go ahead and select the one here I'll go ahead and move this over go ahead and select the second one and then reselect the first one just basically putting them right next to each other selecting the third one putting this right next to that one selecting the fourth one and you can see where it's a little bit off here so I have to go ahead and select those two select the shell just move it over and then I'm gonna select all of them basically move them over scale them down so that they're all with inside that UV space of one um, zero to one and <clears throat> I'm basically gonna apply the same shader to these as well because I just want to double check and make sure that the, the UV layout is fine on them so we're gonna use the same shader that we've actually put on the seats here and then we're gonna go ahead and put those onto the seat belts go ahead and minimize that window just double check and I'll just zoom in on this here and that looks fine doesn't look like there's gonna be you know much of an issue there and like I said it's important that you you know you have clean UVs if you don't have clean UVs it's, it's gonna be very difficult to go ahead and texture your model so you know you can see where our UV space here for our seatbelt is you know laid out in a way that it's I don't want to say it's gonna be uh, it's not goofy looking it, it's laid out sort of perfectly um, and we aren't gonna have much of a trouble to go ahead and actually texture this I mean even though there is a little bit of you know curve to the left that's fine I mean there's no real no real big problem there and we can simply leave these two pieces uh, separated since we're basically going to be using a tallable texture it doesn't necessarily matter whenever we go to you know bake out our textures through Maya okay so I'm just going to go ahead and move the UV window here off and I'll go ahead and import the rest of our meshes here continue to import the rest of our meshes here so we need our suitcase body one which you remember is this okay and then we're going to go ahead and re-import our suitcase body two here which is the back okay now with this I want to try to go ahead and get the the suitcase body and the leather all on the same UV space okay so you can see that we have these two imported I'm just going to basically select one just rotate it a little bit okay and then I'll just go ahead and move this off go ahead and select the other one reselect the first one making sure that this is rotated correctly I'm just trying to line these up here I'll go ahead and import the leather pieces of it here which would be the leather one and that is right there I'm just going to edit this just a tiny bit. I'm just going to scale it up and just make sure that I smooth the, the UVs on that. Go ahead and scale it back down to basically be in the 0 to 1 space there. Just go ahead and move that off. I'll go ahead and import the other one. Smooth that down. Oh, that's the wrong one. I'm sorry there. basically just move that off and scale it up a little bit so it's going to match the other one there import the third one go ahead and select the UVs for that one and making sure that I have all of them selected properly scale that up a little bit try and match the other ones go ahead and import our fourth one there which is that one let's 
Let's scale that one up a little bit. And I'll select all four of those pieces there. And we'll go ahead and just try to basically place these in a position that's going to work well for us. Okay, so we'll go ahead and move the UV texture window there a little bit. I'm just hitting three on my keyboard just to make sure that everything's smooth. Bring back up the hyper shade window and apply the UV shader to them. And I'm just double checking to make sure that this is going to be okay. which is not necessarily a problem there for me. So now I'm going to go ahead and select all these pieces here. And basically just organize our UV. Oops, I forgot to import the handle there. This is this. I'll go ahead and just basically move this uh, down a little bit and then I'll just go ahead and reselect all these pieces. Go ahead and match it there, and then I'll select them all. And now I just want to try to <coughs> sort of organize these into the same 0 to 1 space here. We're all in the side of the 0 to 1 space here, and this is just going to take a little bit of scaling. Just making sure that I give myself enough room in case I need to, to go ahead and edit the textures a little bit here. And basically, there you go. There is, you know, sort of all of our things UV mapped and, and ready to go ahead and texture. But the last thing we need to go ahead and do is just make sure that we have our object selected here. Okay, I'm going to turn everything gray, which is simply just a script that's, you know, basically from just reusing tools or, you know, using tools and applying a gray shader to them, which is a script that I have here is made as a shelf button, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit that. Select all of our unmapped pieces, okay? And since you can see if we would go ahead and render it like that, we would get some real geometric errors, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and delete those since we aren't going to be using them. Bring back our up, uh, outliner, okay? Regroup these as our UV mapped pieces. Clear the history and you know freeze the transformations and <coughs> center the pivot on them. And just basically put it back into our car group. And now that we have everything mapped and ready to texture, in the next lesson we'll go ahead and start getting ready to, or we'll go ahead and start uh, texturing our car.